Hey people, how you doing? This is Michael Holman. Um, just want to give you an update this third video in the series. Um, update you, I've been back on the East Coast for two years with my children. Uh, from what I understand, I have gotten letters from um, the state of New Hampshire, one from uh, New Hampshire Department of Justice Attorney Rebecca Woodard, uh, stating that there was some kind of investigation going on. And I have been told by some receptionists that answer the phone at the Department of Justice in New Hampshire that there is an investigation, supposedly. Uh, they don't admit much. Um, but there is an investigation there. I have figured out that actually Meriden, Connecticut Police Department was heavily involved in this. The mother of my children, Wendy Smith, bore me three different children. They had drugs in their system every time. Wendy was never arrested or, or brought up on charges for this neglect. Um, I did learn that while I was on the West Coast, during the time I shot my first video, that there was a large drug raid at the grandmother's house where Wendy and the children were living along with several other family members living in deplorable conditions. Uh, DCF, Connecticut DCF at that time, failed to contact me, which is, on, I understand, a rule or law of theirs. They were supposed to contact me as a father and say, this is what's happened, there's a drug bust, so forth. They did not do that. All right, and since then, of course, my son ended up in a coma. I was fighting all along. This was not a custody issue. This was a child protection, and I sought to protect my children from abuse, sexual abuse, neglect by the mother and her immediate family. And New Hampshire uh, followed suit with Connecticut. Connecticut, knowing that this mother's had three different children with drugs in their system, never arrested or prosecuted her. After my son was left in a coma, when I finally did get paperwork from Connecticut DCF, an officer, Lavoie, with Meriden Police Department stated in that paperwork he was going to arrest Wendy. Well, guess what? He never came to arrest Wendy. I believe that Wendy's mother, Patricia Smith, has a connection inside the police department, as well as her sister, Robin Nolte, a former uh, court clerk, has kept me from receiving transcripts. I've been waiting for transcripts again now for over a month and a half. I've gone to the head of uh, records keeping and made the request, been a month and a half, have not still received them. In that uh, Karen Scripp, Judge Winslow in the Meriden courts told Wendy during court, you will lose custody of your children if you ever use drugs again. They were trying to hide that information. Also, I requested a public inquiry, which was granted by Mr. Blumenthal at the time he was AG for Connecticut. And he did grant a public inquiry number 342397. That public inquiry was hijacked by someone from DCF or CPS and mysteriously closed. They refused to answer questions. Also, during that drug bust, I have noted that my son has a very large gap on uh, cut on his mouth. He was the youngest. He was probably three or four years old at the time of that drug bust. In the DCF paperwork, it states, the perpetrator has never done this to the children before. I take that to mean that something was done to my children. I have made requests to several people. Mrs. Martinez, head of the Meriden uh, DCF refusing to answer questions now. Attorney Barbara Clare for the Meriden DCF office, refusing to answer questions, what does that statement mean? Also Stan Kanazowski, I have um, delivered to him copies of the internal affairs complaint I've filed with the Meriden Police Department. They're refusing to answer the questions. No one's calling me back. They're trying to cover this up. I contacted Connecticut Child Advocate Office. They have refused, trying to say, oh, this is a two-state custody issue. No, it is not. It's child protection. You left my three children to be further abused and neglected. One ends up in a coma and you're still trying to cover it up. I am their father. You are not answering my questions. I send you faxes. I mail you letters. You are refusing to answer what it is. You're in collusion with the state of New Hampshire and you have violated mine and my three children's rights. All involved in New Hampshire were Kelly Ayotte. Uh, former Attorney General Colin Tuono, who was over the judicial watch, he did, he allowed the judges to do whatever, and he found no wrongdoing, but they did. Attorney Jennifer Haskell told me by phone, Mr. Holman, my career has been threatened. I cannot represent you. Also, Stanley Hawthorne, Attorney Stanley Hawthorne, also took three grand cash, did nothing, tried to make me accept a plea saying that my reports of sexual abuse were lies. Now, New Hampshire sought to railroad me and they know they're liars. I use my uh, constitutional rights and I told New Hampshire I no longer give your court jurisdiction over me or my children. I will not be returning to New Hampshire. I understand the FBI are still involved. 
Um, Congressman Inslee went to the FBI and now as congressional courtesy he handed me over to uh, Congressman Murphy uh, in, uh, as the congressman in Connecticut and they are contacting the Washington DC FBI trying to get an answer from me. But the main thing is this people, Connecticut was also involved and there's collusion between Connecticut and New Hampshire. They took three black children and they've left them lying in the middle of the street. This white mother addicted to uh, opiates who was a former prostitute that I come to find out and has had sexual relationships with law enforcement as I do know for a fact they are trying to cover up and they are trying to paint me as the bad black man. It's not going to work. I am a CCR registered businessman, aerospace uh, contractor. I make money I go all over this United States and do what I do basically what this is is New England feels that black men don't have any rights and they will try to portray us as if I wear baggy pants and I can't speak proper English and I don't have a career in front of me the main thing is this we wouldn't be in this position if we weren't put through the hell that we've been put through by you people and as a father of three beautiful children I'm telling you right now I'm done being put through what you put me and my family through you will answer to these charges I will go get you somehow before a judge. FBI isn't answering any questions and I believe it's because they work with you. You guys are all in, entwined together, law enforcement, FBI. Back in the, back in the um, civil rights fight days you could easily lynch a black man and get basically law enforcement would cover for you and FBI would overlook it and everybody would be acquitted. Nobody would be held accountable for killing black men. Well, it's going to take a person like me to continue fighting and saying, you know what, you're lying. You're going to give me, help me regain my rights. Every attorney I met on the West Coast told me, Mr. Holman, you are completely correct. Congressman Inslee, upon to you. So, Connecticut, New Hampshire, come on. You need to answer your questions and realize that you are liars. A mother giving birth to three children, never arrested, never prosecuted, leaves her son in the middle of the street in a coma. She runs to the Record Journal newspaper and states, I told him to put on my helmet. She puts that in a story. I demand from Record Journal for a retraction because he, the emergency room knew it, everybody knew it. My son didn't own a helmet. But you allow this white mother to go and tell this lie and she's still walking free. And her grandmother, Patricia Smith, knew the drug, there was drug dealing in her house. She's still walking free. No charges from DCF. No charges from police. That's it. This is a battle. You know I ain't going anywhere. I can out talk you and I can out debate you. New Hampshire, Connecticut, you better answer up to what you've done to my family because I'm not going to let it go. Unless of course there's no breath in my body and maybe you'll get away from it. But thank God for the internet. People let's do something here. I wouldn't let this happen to your family. I'd stand out there with a sign. So I stand out in front of the offices with a sign. Please, people, help me. I need justice, and these people are refusing to give me some. And the FBI is telling me, well, if you turn us into the uh, Inspector General, we're not going to be willing to help you. Oh, really? Is that how America works? This is Michael Holman. Contact me, people. I need your help.